Good day, folks. Welcome to the MD Wildman channel. On today's video, I'm here uh, at this old warehouse, and we've got a, a bit of a nuisance wildlife job going on here. They've got a problem with a couple of red squirrels uh, that keep coming in and out, um, bothering stuff. They're chewing up some plastic, some cardboard, some stuff. So uh, they called me in, and we're going to take a look at getting rid of the red squirrels. Typically, this is not like a video idea, but I did want to show you guys a brand new thing that I picked up. These are Victor Power Kill. Uh, rat traps. Now, typically I would use a normal wooden Victor rat trap, and I've got a couple of videos on the channel uh, that have to do with using rat traps to catch squirrels, um, you know, like in the woods and on trees and different things like that. But I wanted to show you this one. Picked it up the other day at, uh, I think I got it at, where did I get it? Uh, Princess Auto, I think. And <clears throat> um, it was pretty cheap. Uh, this, this box was $9.99 and there's two in the box. So price-wise, it's pretty comparable to like the normal wooden rat traps, but I like these an awful lot better. So I'm gonna show them to you here and we show you and get them set up and we'll see how we make out. But uh, anyway, so this is the new Victor Power Kill rat trap and I will leave a link in the description down below if you wanna check it out and pick them up uh, for your line. These are a little stronger. So the reason that I like these, a couple different reasons. Uh, let me show you one here. This, like I say, there's two that come in this box. Um, basically this is what you're looking at. If you've never, if you've never seen these before, this is what they are. Okay. So they're a good solid plastic trap, which initially right away, I like them because it makes them more weatherproof. Your wooden ones can get soggy. They can get wet. Um, they can get rotten and whatnot. Uh, these right here, super solid. Uh, I like them real well. They've also got this entire front portion right here. This entire portion right here is all bait, right? So this, this whole this whole place right here, this all of this area right here is the pan, okay? And you don't actually bait the pan, which is, which is really great about these traps. So um, there are also the spring, dual springs on the back, okay? Right here, it's, it's stronger than those of the normal Victor rat traps. These are, these are designed for um, like inner city rat type deals. Uh, they work great for squirrel. These are also strong enough uh, that they will hold a gray squirrel. I know some of the wooden ones, they'll, they'll hit a gray squirrel, but they won't keep them. These ones are actually designed. You check these out. I'll show you in a minute. But if you look at the base right here, when this snaps and pinches against, these have little teeth, right? So they're not sharp, of course, but they're just little, uh, little teeth like that. And what this does is it really helps to grip and to hold. So I've caught gray squirrels in these as well. So uh, setting these, piece of cake, another reason I love them, you're out of the line, no big deal. All you do is you grab this back part right here and you're gonna push it down until it clicks in this lock right here, just like that. And it's really, really easy to do. Uh, the other thing is you don't actually bait the pan. So the idea here is that you're gonna put the bait in this little hole and the little hole is independent of the pan. The pan goes all the way around it. So you put your bait in the hole so that whatever comes along literally has to step up on the pan and kind of around the pan to get at the bait. Lots of times with the wooden ones, sometimes you can get the, the they can to get the bait off. That's why I made the pull triggers. Those are a little better, but sometimes they can clean the peanut butter right off one of those and not snap the trap, right? This one here, they've got to step up on that pan and be all fidgeting around in there to, uh, to get caught, okay? So setting these is real easy. Like I said, you just pull this back until you hear it click. So you just pull it down and it locks automatically. So you just pull it down until it snaps, click, click, and then you're all set. And there you go, right? So you put your bait in the middle of that, and slide that, you know, in. I'm gonna put this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna put this one right in there with a little bit of peanut butter. Uh, shouldn't be too long catching the squirrels that are in here. And uh, another great thing about these is you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, let me turn this up a little bit, but it's got two holes in the back right, already drilled through the plastic. So for those of you that use them like me, sometimes out in the woods to catch red squirrels uh, and, you, and you nail them to trees, stick them to trees, they're already pre-drilled for that. So there's no need to put a deck screw through them or whatever, anything, it's already done. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get this set and we'll see how we make out. So <clears throat> not a big deal. I just set it back in here in the corner a little bit. Uh, just on the other side of this pallet, there's a bigger door and I can see where they were coming through, a little hole or crack. So they're coming around. It looks like they're coming in behind this pallet and then coming out this way and going out toward the, where they're causing a problem. So I got that set there and we'll just come back. Uh, what time is it now? Well, it's about 9 a.m. So I'll come back in a couple hours. It shouldn't be long. They're in and out of here all the time. They say the workers have been seeing them and whatnot. So 
um, they should be, should be no problem. All right, folks, we're back. It's, uh, well, I guess it's about two o'clock and there you go. So just like that, dandy dandy, just that easy. There's the, there's the first one from here. <clears throat> yeah, so there we go. Uh, pretty simple. Good, quick, kill. Uh, got them right on the neck, right? So right around the, right around the neck area there. Uh, nice, nice red squirrel. And uh, pretty, again, taking them out, same thing. Take them out, you just take them out of the pan. That's just that easy, right? And then, uh, then there you go. So I'm liking these new traps and uh, hopefully I'll take this one home and Elliot can skin them up and uh, we'll get the other one. I think they said they think there's only a couple, so it won't be too long catching the other one too. So anyway, listen, I hope this is something that can help you out in your line and that uh, you might want to consider putting, adding to your kind of arsenal of traps or things to do. Um, but anyway, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.